we have arrived at Gaia BH-1, located just 1,560 light years from Earth. This is the closest black hole to our home. But unlike the monsters in movies, this one is silent. It is a dormant black hole. It is not currently feeding on a star, so there is no glowing disk of fire to warn us. There is only gravity. It is a ghost, a region of space where a sun ten times the mass of our own simply vanished, leaving behind a scar in the fabric of reality. We cannot enter ourselves. The gravitational tidal forces would tear our biology apart before we even reached the threshold. Instead, we send a probe, a hardened vessel designed to survive the descent, at least for a few moments. As the probe approaches the event horizon, the point of no return, something strange happens. From our perspective on the ship, the probe begins to slow down. The light from its thrusters turns red, then deep infrared, as the immense gravity stretches the light waves themselves. To us, the probe never actually enters. It simply freezes, fading into a dim red ghost, stuck forever on the edge of the abyss. But for the probe, the reality is violent and instantaneous. Inside, the laws of physics as we know them shatter. The probe is subjected to spaghettification, gravity pulling so much harder on its nose than its tail that it is stretched into a long, thin stream of atoms. But what lies at the center? A singularity? An infinitely dense point where time and space end? Or is it a bridge? Some physicists theorize that black holes are not dead ends, but doorways, Einstein-Rosen bridges connecting to white holes in distant galaxies, or, perhaps, the birth canals of entirely new universes. We will never know. The probe is gone. Its data is lost to the darkness forever. We attempt to leave the system, but as we engage our drive, the fabric of space-time itself begins to buckle. Our sensors aren't picking up radiation or matter. They are detecting a chirp, a ripple in the geometry of the universe so powerful it distorts the laser light of our instruments. We have just crossed the wavefront of a cosmic cataclysm. GW250114. Back on Earth on January 14th, 2025, this wave washed over the planet. It was detected by the LIGO and Virgo observatories as the clearest, loudest gravitational wave signal in history. A signal to noise ratio of nearly 80, shattering all previous records. It was the death scream of two black holes, 